you know, I, I got to talk about this subject. It's not only happening to me live on stream, but you can't help when you go on YouTube. Literally, the discussion around Diablo 4, well, the constant themes that I'm getting live on my streams and in the comment section on my Diablo 4 videos is, how do you like season four? And I talked about this in my last video. And is D4 saved? Is D4 better? Is it good now? Like in one swoop, something that basically has been dead on arrival can be resurrected like that. Uh, so I wanna talk about that very quickly, not a lot because I do want to give you my take on season four and I kind of touched on it on my last video, but also I want to talk about something that I've been thinking about lately, the last 24 hours, now that I've experienced the itemization changes through the PTR experience and now the end product in season four. And I, I thought back about all the communication that we heard through the dev team and I thought, why has it taken so long for itemization to come into Diablo 4? Now that we've experienced it, why did it take so long? Now, if you guys remember back in the day, the rush, the, the player base has been screaming itemization since literally day one. Okay. And I, I guess that kind of felt fell on deaf ears and then eventually it was such a constant theme like a loot filter is such a constant theme in the feedback from the player base that blizzard started kind of addressing and talking to it hey guys look we want to make itemization changes however it's so complicated to do and it impacts so much of the core game and the design and program having it is not something that we can do so quickly. And, you know, at face value, when you hear that, you're like, oh, okay. Like, I understand they, th this is a huge fundamental change in the way the game was at that time to where they want to go. So, you know, some people took it, or sorry, most people took it at face value and said, Okay, I understand. It's it's revolutionary. It's changing the game, so it's going to take some time. Now, I want to ponder the discussion around I've experienced the itemization in season 4 and and if you're playing Diablo 4, I'm sure you guys have experienced it as well. And you guys will correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm sorry. I don't I I I just again the people that I'm not a programmer, I'm not a game developer, I have no idea what it takes. And I know it's a lot of work and not everything is super easy to do, right? But if we go to the game and I look at how things used to be and how they are now, now, in my little peon brain, I think, well, that should be really simple. So here's, here's, here's my rationale. Let's take, whether it's a weapon or gear, it's all the same thing. We now only have three affixes, okay? So for example, on this wand, you'll see I have 89 intelligence, maximum life, vulnerable damage. In my little mind, I'm thinking, wait a minute, this doesn't sound super complicated. Like I would imagine in the programming, again, I'm non-technical, so forgive me if I mispronounce or, or use terms that are not correct, but hopefully it'll make sense. I would imagine in the background, on the <laughs> in the programming of the game, there's an item there's a, a loot database, right? So for example, let's go back to this wand, okay? So this rattling bones of frozen orbit is in the data pool in Diablo 4. 
and it has whatever affixes can go on it. Now it used to be five, four, now it's three. So in my puny mind, I think just the loot tables need to be updated and Bob's your uncle, you're good to go. Now, granted, it's not just about reducing the affixes and updating the tables in the game, in the back end, but they also, part of itemization, they've added these tempering manuals when it comes to tempering, and they've added master working in the game where we can master work items. So I understand that is new and requires requires programming and thought how it impacts the rest of the game. But I ask the people that know this kind of stuff and what's involved with updating this kind of structure in a game, is it really that difficult? That it should have really taken this long? And I ask that question because can you imagine if this came in, so if, Itemization came in season two or season three for that matter. Ideally season one, but can you imagine the state of the game today? What would we be talking about? What would be the feeling out there on Diablo 4? Would we have this Diablo 4 bad meme? Remember, it takes a long time to get the trust of your customer and only a second to lose it. And Diablo 4 is representative of that. There's a lot of people that left this game will never come back. Now, how many? Who knows? Now, will it impact the long-term viability of Diablo 4 moving forward? Again, time will tell. But I can't I, I just can't wrap my head around why they took so long to put itemization in the game because I think it would have bought them some time like this is buying them time in season four. Now we have a major expansion coming, like I said in my last video in the at the end of 2024, which is six months away. And I think therein lies the question again, I personally feel why the rationale behind not introducing itemization earlier is not because they couldn't, it's because they chose to not put it in the game. Now, you guys correct me if I'm wrong and you get in the comment section, you tell me, Sammy, you are so wrong, it's not even funny. You have no idea what it takes to make these kind of changes to the structure of a game on the back end. So for those of you that know this kind of stuff, and when I mean no, I don't talk about theory. I'm talking about firsthand knowledge. So you, you've, you know this topic and what's involved. Maybe you yourself have been involved in developing a game. I would love to hear it. And please correct me if I'm wrong. I'll be the first one to admit that I'm wrong. Um, so get in the comment section and let me know. But Having said that, if I am correct and that they chose not to, they chose not to because I think what the plan was from the beginning was to, first of all, introduce a game that's <laughs> was not completed, again, for the dollars and the money, get the game out, and they got their money tenfold, record sales, and ever since the release of the game, they're basically just building the game on the fly. And all I think is that they just keep moving the ball down the field. If I can make a football analogy, 10 yards at a time. And they're not interested in scoring a touchdown because to them, the touchdown, the end state is the expansion. And again, I keep going back to the fact that they have to put meat on the bone for the expansion because they're going to charge for the expansion. They need to justify the dollar amount for the expansion. So they're not interested in season one, two, three, four, five, having a lot of meat on it. 
because they want to justify the cost of the expansion, therefore leaving as much new stuff in that expansion. So again, they could charge us for it. Now, one could argue then, why would they put itemization in season four? Well, they had no choice because the game was dead. Nobody was playing it. Player feedback was horrible. D4 bad was like the sun coming up every morning. It was, that's what everyone was talking about it. So they had no choice to put itemization in the game. God only knows if that wasn't the case, would we have itemization in the game today? Who knows? But anyway, I, I've been thinking about why they have taken so long to put itemization in the game because it's being so well received. And any ARPG worth their salt has to have this in the game. The good news is they, they have introduced it in the game. And I personally think this is a huge W and it's a reset. They have reset Diablo 4. And what do I mean by that is their foundation on this game prior to season four was in shambles. There was cracks in the foundation everywhere. So how could you build a house on it? The foundation was full of cracks. So season four, they demolished all the cracks, filled it up, and this is a solid foundation. So you can now start building something solid of a house on top of this foundation. Without itemization, an ARPG doesn't have good, it doesn't have a good foundation. Loot needs to matter in a game, specifically an ARPG. ARPGs is all about the loot and this provides that. Now, I do wanna preface that by saying, to me, this is the start of itemization. I don't think this is the end state. They need to build off of this. And that leads me to my final point. Season four, huge W. I'm enjoying it, but this game still lacks in several aspects. And I will only focus on one, and that's the end game. There's not enough of it just like other ARPGs out there. And when there's not enough end game, players will come and leave. And hey, there's nothing wrong. Who says players need to play the whole season in Diablo 4? I play PoE, I'm in, I do what I wanna do. I play maybe, sometimes I'll play one week, sometimes I'll play a month, sometimes I'll play two months, but I'm not in there for the whole three months. I'm in. If I enjoy it, I stay longer. If I'm not having fun, I leave. And so what's wrong with people doing that in Diablo 4? But I'll be remiss to not highlight the fact that this game, The Pit, is great. But one can argue it's just a glorified, you know, everyone refers to them as greater rifts. But it's a glorified nightmare dungeon, if you ask me. It looks the same. It feels the same. Yeah, there's little nuances that are different with uh, Nightmare Dungeons, but they feel the same. So that's not end game variety. Yeah, it's going to, uh, I'll be honest with you, I'm looking forward to seeing the pit and seeing how far I can get. But outside of that, you know, the boss ladder, the torment bosses, again, you do it once, really, you, you can say that you completed it. But this game still lacks end game variety um so only time will tell to see what they do but season four like i said in my l l uh, last video is by far the best season in diablo 4 by a country mile and this is a great foundation for them to build on so it'll be interesting to see now do i personally think i personally will be playing all of season four i don't think so uh i probably uh finish my softcore character and then i'll decide whether i want to do a hardcore character and really once i get uh those two done i, I can't see myself grinding the same stuff over and over because the end game it just there's not enough meat on it and variety like some other arpgs that are struggling as well with that topic anyway let me know your thoughts. What do you think? Am I off my rocker? Specifically, I want to hear 
from the techie guys that know something about what I was talking about when it comes to itemization. How difficult was is it to take the game prior to season four to what it is in season four regarding itemization, guys? Is it really that difficult and tedious and takes a long time to do? And I'm talking about obviously the changes to the affixes, the reduction, you know, qu quality over quantity, and obviously the tempering and the master working that obviously required programming and stuff like that. But is it really that difficult? Because we were complaining about itemization literally since the start of this game, let's be honest. So I wanna hear from the techie guys, people that know this kind of stuff, okay? Let me hear from you. I would love to hear from you. And how are you enjoying season four? Would love to hear from you as well. Anyway, if you can like, comment, and subscribe, I would really appreciate it. And as always, we'll hope to see you next time. And hey, catch me live on Twitch. Channel name is Sammy Caps. I stream every evening. Come and watch me grind this game and play my beautiful sorceress Frozen Orm build. Whew. I'm so enjoying this build. Anyway. See you in Sanctuary. Take care. The opinions expressed in this video are mine and solely mine. Healthy debate is always encouraged. Hate is never welcomed. So get over it.